Hello, in this video I want to show how the scale is sending data back to, um, to the uh, BeagleBone Black and being displayed um, on the local, um, the local network uh, web page interface there. Um, so here's the, the system. Um, you've got the scale being read by the HX711 um, analog to digital converter. Uh, that's going into the the Apertronics B unit, which is then transmitting wirelessly over to the BeagleBone Black, and it's connected to the network by the network cable. Um, so right now I have the the B off, and you can see that if I generate the graph, it'll say there's no data found in this range because I've set the the uh, time to um, start a couple minutes ago. So if I take the B and turn it on, you'll see a, a green light that shows it's on and then a red light that shows that it's transmitting. So there's the red light. It's a, it stays on for a while at first because um, it has to transmit more data than usual, kind of do a handshake with the BeagleBone Black. Um, but then if I press the test button, it'll send data um, and you can hardly even see the red light flash there because it's so quick. Um, if I press the test a few times, It'll send a few bits of data when I don't have any load on the, on the scale. And then I'll add a few dozen pounds to the scale. Um, so you can see if I generate now, there'll be some data points. They're a little bit hard to see, but there's one here, here, and here. Uh, the scaling is a little off. It shows it at 13 uh, pounds. That's not an issue in my application. Um, because I'm looking mainly for changes in the weight, but um, and I'll I'll discuss that more in writing on the on the website. But um, you can see that it has a um, about 13 pounds there, and so if I press the test button a few more times, um, usually I like to get more than one data point. So there's two. Then if I regenerate the graph, you can see that the old data is down here. And the new data shows up over on the side as around 31 pounds. Um, it's awfully hard to show that, but you can see here, um, there's the old data, one, two, three data points down around 13. And then up here, around 30 pounds up there. Um, you can see that there's a significant amount of variability in the load cell. Um, especially just after it's had a, a significant change in the load. Um, and that's because the load cells aren't, um, aren't entirely static. Um, they relax and shift around a little bit when, they, when they're loaded. Um, and, um, and that can also that, that could be reduced more by using a higher, higher voltage or a higher quality load cell. Um, so that's something that I'll, I'm, I'm tracking and I'll have to watch. Um, look at that with future designs. Um, I'm sure if I used a, a more beefy load cell like this, um, rather than the, the smaller load cells that are inside this postal scale, uh, I'd get a better signal, but, um, or I'd get a lower, lower variability. But for now, um, the prototype seems to be working and um, I'm about ready to install the, the analog to digital converter inside the B-Box. Um, the bee enclosure so that um, so that it's not kind of messily placed outside like this on a um, on a breadboard. Um, so that's my update for today showing the data collection from the scale.